Have you ever needed to join two pieces of cord together and have it look almost seamless? Well, today I'm gonna show you how to do just that. Stay tuned. You will need three millimeter single strand cotton rope, fishing line, about eight inches or so, a tapestry needle and scissors. To start, lay your cords out and cross them over where you want them to join. Next, grab your fishing line and fold it in half. Take the two ends of your fishing line and thread it through your tapestry needle. You should now have a loop. Take one of the shorter ends of your rope and thread it through your fishing line. And now you want to pull the fishing line and the rope through your tapestry needle. This can be a little bit tricky, take your time, and I find rocking it back and forth does the trick. Once you have successfully threaded your cord through the needle, we will be taking the needle back up through the center of the cord. Be sure to have your starting point right where your two cords cross over. The trick here is making sure that your needle is going right through the center of your rope. Sometimes slightly untwisting the cord works wonders. So stay with me, this is going to get messy. What you want to do is gather and bunch up as much as you can onto your tapestry needle. Once you have a fair amount gathered, you will need to carefully pull your tapestry needle all the way through. Patience is key here. And don't worry, I know it looks super messy. It will all be fixed, just wait. Once you've made it all the way through, you can take off your tapestry needle and put that to the side. Now make sure that everything that is all bunched up is right up tight to your joining mark. Otherwise you might end up with a gap. Now watch this. Grab your joining mark and the longer end of your cord and pull. Magic. Leave me a unicorn emoji if you agree. Okay, so now we have to repeat the same process to the other side. So thread your cord using the fishing line. Insert your needle right at the joining mark and gather as much cord as you can onto your needle and pull through. Toss your tapestry needle off to the side. Make sure that everything's gathered up tight towards your joining mark. And pull. And magic again. Be sure to give it a few extra pulls just to make sure that it's straight. Quick tip, sometimes it's helpful to retwist your cord. If you find that you have ends sticking out, just give it a little snip with your scissors. This joining technique is perfect when you run at a length on a project. And although this is a secure join, don't use this technique for anything that requires any weight bearing. If you are curious about what other uses for this Russian join technique, leave a comment below. And if you haven't done so already, I hope you consider subscribing. Also, here are two more videos I think you'll enjoy. I'll see you over there.